What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Don't forget, live tonight, overtime, myself, Joey, and Jacob from the Monster Den. Known Jacob probably now, I don't know, five years or so. Um, he's going to come on with us, do some talking, to make a good, interesting show for tomorrow night. He also uh, is still an active breaker. He has now ventured also into whatnot, so if you guys got questions pertaining to that stuff, he'll be able to answer that pretty well. Um, let's talk about today's stuff. This is really interesting, and I didn't know this existed until I was playing around with gemrate.com yesterday. This is the top cards that are uh, out there graded each month, along with you could filter this and everything else. So up here you can do top 100, you can do 500,000. You can do who it's graded by, whatever category you want. And what I've done is you can come over here, and I've done this, but I don't want I can't pull it, but export to Excel, basically, CSV file. And you can put your own filters across it, which will make this a little bit more easier sorting because I've tried this. And I just can't get this to work to where I want to to sort this piece out here higher by lower. But as long as you have Excel on your computer by Microsoft or something that supports a CSV file, you could do this. And wow, it really, I, I couldn't believe some of the stuff I've seen on here. Topping it off was going back to the last two days of video. 2020 Pokemon, and this is the um, Champion's Path Elite Trainer, or yeah, Elite Trainer promo card, Charizard V. 20,520 have gem rate uh, tens. I it is close to beating Zion, very very close. Charizard might top out everything eventually. And you can see the totals and their rates here. Man, I wish I could find this each month because it would make my life easier instead of going through. Uh, I'm gonna have to look for it because I looked at the, I sorted this out. They had 27 or eight on, so it's something like that. There, I was missing one card and I found it real quick. It was Charizard. So we've been pretty much on it with the top uh, highest uh, graded gems on too, which was really good because I really wasn't missing hardly anything except for a Pokemon. But looking at this here, you can really go through, and I'm just going to point out a couple of things on here that I looked at and I was really surprised. A6 tops traded, Barry Bonds, 4,792 gem rate 10s. I thought this was lower just because of the borders on that, but... When you look at how many, 52,964 with a 9% gem rate, they produced a crap load of that card. Here's the funny part. If you guys remember my stories about 89 Upper Deck, about going to shows and the vendors coming around with boxes of this stuff, Upper Deck vendors, 87,962 Ken Griffey Jr. rookies have been graded with only 4,000 graded as a 10. Insane. Just the amount they produced that stuff. And I remember not being able to find 89 Upper Deck in places for the longest time. And being at shows and them coming around with that. The Del Murphy reverse negative. The Gary Sheffield. I think that was a reverse as well too. Something to do with the shortstop I believe on too. It was uh, upside down or inverted or something. And them selling them. I remember Griffey's being like 20 bucks a pop. And them being like worth 40 in uh, back at the time frame. I think we were spending 40 for the Dell Murphy, and it was going for 100 So you were picking them up, selling them at the shows. And you would make good money because they would come in as you're setting up, and they'd come by with their boxes, how many of these do you want, blah, 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 blah. And you were like, man, I wish I had more money with me as a young person setting up at shows because you could have really doubled your money quick that day. All right. Oh... This is one, it was one of the ones that shocked me. The 85 Tops McGuire USA team, only 304 uh, Gem 10s. I used to be an owner of three of these. And I'm sure this pop date's gone way up. Look how many were graded, 56,700. I remember popping these off at, oh, I think they, I bought them originally. This is a long time ago, like, Ooh, I want to say early to mid 2000s, and I was spending a little over, I don't know, 100 ish, 100 and maybe 50 tops. And I remember these things hitting like five, 600, and I was selling. That shocked me there. And there's another one. I don't know if I can see it on here or not. 
Roger Clemens, same year, 357. Jerry Rice rookie card, 59. Henderson, 25. This used to be a 23 for the longest time. Uh, I can tell you, at least in the last two years, two more have popped in there. But what this could give you an idea of by looking at is if you really want to use it for this, you could be like, what do I want to, you know, try to get that's low popped and really hard to get a hold of that you don't see pop up every day? You might see three or four or five or, you know, 20 on eBay, but realistically, there's not a high pop count. This is good. I mean, look at it. Uh, John Elway, rookie, 179. I think Marino was like 300-ish. Like, oh, 400. Really cool tool to have. I will put this link also into the description, and I'll pin it in the top comments just in case anybody wants to have it on their desktop, you know, as a safe favorite. Just something you can look at and use uh, just in case you're like, man, I want to buy like a Jeter SP PSA 10. Well, there's only 21 out there, and you're going to pay huge money for it. But if you can get one graded, it you probably save forever and ever and ever, and it wasn't in like a screw-down smash type style. You could be up for big money. There's a lot of stuff on here. It's really good to look at. Very good amount of knowledge on to here that you can use however you want. Either buy, sell, trade, hold. A-Rod's SP-59. But, yeah, really good information on to here. So this was a really good piece that they did on to here. And you, like I said, you can sort this. You can go into Beckett, Update. Might take it a second because it's grabbing all my data. And you can start looking like Tiger Woods Upper Deck Rookie. Their gem rate, you got to remember, this is a 9.5. So, I mean, you can start looking at numbers on it as well, too, across the board. Um, the only thing I wish they could do somehow, which I would like this even more, is if they would just already have um, somehow onto here that I could export both. PSA, SGC, and Beckett all into one to compare all three of one card side by side. That would be great. But other than that, guys, really good tool. Shorter video today. Just wanted to hit this up in case you didn't know it was out there. You could use it for whatever you want on to it. Just to start trying to look at your own pop counts, if you should buy something quick. Or if you want to have, like, you know, I want to get, like, these couple cards this year type goal. Good way to look at it, knowing if is it going to be possible to get that card or not. All right, guys, take care. See you live tonight with Overtime with Jacob and Joey. Have a good one.